Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey! In the last episode, we um, came here after completing all that we could in the Cap Kingdom. And we start off here getting a few of the coins and getting a few of the um, moons around here. So, maybe we'll get up to the top and see what the Brutals are doing. Where are they? So right off the bat, we got these coins that I missed back there. On my practice file, those were actually the last coins I got in the entire region. But anyway, over there in that general direction. Um, we need to go. But instead, we're going to jump off the side. I found it best to uh, do this part of the woods. Um... Pretty much right off the bat, so you don't ever uh, like miss anything, because there are six or nine. Mm. Shoot, I think there's nine regional coins in this area, as well as um, as well as uh, nine moons. To get and there are no and the moons don't um there are no moons that come later like in the other kingdoms like even though they're they're like 20 something moons in the cap kingdom um we couldn't get all of them right off the bat so down here these nine moons are always going to be here no matter what so a key feature of this area is it has this the t-rex over here and he's kind of hard to um, get in general. So all you have to do is you gotta wait for him to charge. That's not it. Come on, buddy. Buddy, come on. Come on. Ah. Come on, this way. Come on. Yeah, like that. Wait for him to charge. And then you can capture him like that. After you hit him into the tree. So anyway, there's another moon here. Kind of easy to miss in that rock there. You can either throw it a bunch or you can just um, step on it with a T Rex. And here's another moon, which you need the T Rex for to break the blocks. Got that one. It's already two out of the nine that we need. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, if you wait too long, then he'll, he'll end up, um, coming back. Coming back, too. So if we go over here, we can, uh, get this tree. Which contains another moon. I was practicing this, um, yesterday. And, um, just to make sure I got everything. And I actually did this this section after, um, after I did, uh, the main quest. But, um, it didn't, like, it didn't really, um, like, it didn't really benefit me that, that much. Because it was harder to tell if I had gotten all the wounds yet. So... Once we have a full row up there, then we know for certain that we have gotten all the moons here. You go there, you can get um, some coins, just normal coins. And back here, one of these trees, here, further back over here. There it is. So you can actually capture this rock here. Come on. There we go. Move the rock and get three more regional coins. Yeah, there's nine here. So there are three over here at the start as well. 
Man. Oh. He got onto me. Um, don't worry if he, uh, aggro's on you, because... Oh, crap. You killed us both, man. Because <laughs> he, he's usually easy to avoid, but sometimes that's not the case, as shown there. Okay, that's there, that's there. Um, what else we got? What else we got? If we go over here, we can get a new capture, a coin coffer. So at first, they'll spawn a bunch of coins for you to have. And um, then you can actually spit out coins, which these coins can actually, um, well, these coins can um, break this, the fossils, like so. Oh, that was weird. The co coins spawned underneath the ground there. Yeah, they did it again. They did it again. What? Oh, come on. Jeez. You know, I honestly thought there was nothing here. But upon further review... Hmm. So this is one of the more tedious moons to get right here. Is you just basically got to... Basically, got to give it. I think it was 500 coins. Oh. This plant. So you just basically got to hold it down and just do that. So I'm probably gonna cut it here, or speed it up or something. Um. So I'll see you guys. Um. It's done. Yeah, it is. So that took. Just, just about uh, 500 coins. The nice thing about the coin coffer is when you um, finally uh, kill him, then he um, he drops some coins for you. He drops a nice ring of I think 10 coins. Here's another moon here. Now that moon is just up here. It can be kind of hard to get to quickly because of the. Um, hill but if you just keep jumping it should be fine not long jumping just normal jumping here's another annoying moon is this um uh pick a pipe essentially so you have to pick the right path each time and i'm not sure if it's a set path or a um or a different path each file hmm that makes, actually, it, that makes me think it is because I know for a fact it was the top pi top pipe on my practice file. Let's try the middle pipe. Okay, now it's the middle pipe, and now I know for a fact that it was this pipe. Yeah, it changes each file. So it's basically just trial and error, but it's not too hard to um. It's not too hard to get all the um, right combinations, so it ju it just takes a little perseverance and a little patience. Yeah. The funny thing is that the pipe still the right pipe in that last section of five pipes will still spit you out into um, into. Uh, the starting area, but that's where the moon spawns. Uh, let's try the middle. Middle last time. Nope. Okay, then we go to the middle. And then... This one? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the few moons you can't collect again. Like, you can't collect it twice. So you can't get the coins off of it. This is the Goombas again. Yeah, there are multiple glowing spots around here. 
Some of them contain moons, some of them don't. Um, coin copper respawned. No, he didn't. Um, oops, more coins back here. We can replenish our supply. Not hard to get coins in this game. Got ten more there. Get that one, that one. So we only got three more moons left. This is not one of them. Oh, I know, I know where it is. Up here, if we talk to this guy, we can get the outfit moon. I'm gonna call it the outfit moon. Because <coughs> it's the moon we need to get with the outfit. Oh, well, we need the outfit to get, rather. Ah, I need like three hands. Sometimes, in some situations, it'd be very useful to have like three hands. Hmm, be so nice. Cause then you could just have three hands and not worry about like you could have like a hand to hold something else while you're doing something, such as you could have a hot hand to take a drink while you're still let's playing. And then people will just think you're silent. So this is a um, Super Mario 64 chest mini game. So every time is the same. So it's center, left, right. It's like the um, chest thing in um, Dire Diary Docs, but instead of shocking you, the chests turn into um, a little. Those little um, skull guys, the little mummy guys, that we saw in um, the um, Sand Kingdom. Yeah. yeah, coin coffers back now. So we need him to break a. Uh, we well, we could get the T Rex. I'm just gonna use him because he's easier to get. Um, to break a stone that's somewhere around here. There it is. It's up in the corner by this uh, guy right here. Hmm. Here. So we got another moon. And that should be the last moon in this, um, in this, uh, little deep woods area. So we don't have to worry about it. So for the longest time when I first, uh, played this game, I actually couldn't, um, I actually couldn't really find a way out of here until I hit one of these guys and they pop out a seed. So you can climb up the beanstalk. And that feature is used very heavily in this. But strangely not strangely enough. Oh, it pops us out here. Oh we'll do this then. Strangely enough it um Um In this kingdom there are no um there's not a seed moon. So for uh perspective down there <coughs> See if you can get a clear view of the Odyssey. But, um, down there is the Odyssey. That's the starting area right there. I don't. Oh, I already got those. I thought I didn't. So, yeah, where we got those coins, we can just go down the ridge here. And then we can uh, appear up here. Which here we can get a few things. If we wanted, we. I've tried. I've tried it before, but I've tried to sequence break this a little bit, try to get up there early. Um, usually, there are sherms up there, um, little tanks that we can use to uh, break that wall, break the wall that's over here. You can't really see, well, a little bit, you can see that it's destructible. Yeah, there's sherms over there that usually you can use to break the wall, but... Um, that's not the case yet. 
Because I I think with um it seems it seems to be the trend with the bigger kingdoms, um each of the each of the each of them have two main quests to them. So like in the Sand Kingdom, we had to um A defeat the Brutal and then B defeat the um uh I don't know what you call it. The one guy. Um. But anyway. Yeah, we went over here. Yeah. I don't think I mentioned it. Um. Last episode. Because I don't know if we went over here. Yeah, we did. But I really do like the music in this. Um. This, um, place. Yeah. I, I was here last episode. Remembering it now. So this poison is kind of annoying. Uh, if you don't deal with it immediately. Because then it can potentially kill you and just be an overall annoyance. Over here we got, uh, interesting. Oh, uh, interesting challenge quote-unquote because it's it's well saying that now I'm having trouble this chin this challenge isn't really hard to get this moon like it's a easy thing to do to kill a hammer bro you just jump on his head or a fire bro we'll get to hammer bros later come on Cappy. Also, if you didn't know, to get Cappy off the Scarecrows, you just have to bounce on it. Um, if we get all down here, we can get another thing. Which, this is a little bit of a kind of annoying section. So you have all this water here and everything. <laughs> and you have to dodge the fuzzies and not get dizzy. Be sure not to touch fuzzy and get dizzy. You can't capture these enemies and these enemies end up uh, also do hurt you. As every enemy. And if you go up here, then you can get um, a secret moon. Which I didn't, I didn't know about until uh, I went back through with the guide and did it. Ow. Also, three coins to get down here, so be sure not to miss these. If you want them. Ah, crap. I don't care. Ah, there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna get healed here anyway. With the moon. Okay, what else we gotta do? The sign over here, I haven't actually read this sign, like ever. We got those. It's been a few days since I've, uh, I played, I recorded the, oh, it's just a tip. Yeah, I like that. It's been a few days since I recorded the last episode, so I might be a little rusty on what, um, what we did. But I'm not rusty on this game. Just leave that poison to me. Yeah, just clean up all. We can clean up all the poison with um this with uh Cappy. It's really uh kind of easy to do. Ouch. Yeah. See, any little bit of poison you step in, you can potentially get uh, harmed in. Um, or not, it's just have Cappy die. Eh, there we go. Trying to do the um, cap throw, the cap spin. This. Also, trying to make sure I don't die here. 
But we got a heart, so everything's good. It's all good. So if we go up here, we can continue on our path. Not worry. You can actually um, do a neat little bit of cheese here. So if you do a long jump, cap throw, and a dive. You can just skip that whole section in here. This one. But we, of course, want to go up here because there are a couple secrets up here, such as these coins. So you can't get them. You're normally supposed to go here with an uproot. Come on. There it is. Okay. Yeah, you're normally supposed to go up here with an uproot, but you can just long jump that gap. Which that shortcut will come into play uh, a little bit later in the game. When we, when we are coming back through this, um, how we need him actually. When we're coming back through this area to, um, uh, get more moons and such. <laughs> that in the red maze. But yeah, this that kind of makes um this maze pointless a little bit. Oh, there are two rows of coins here. Oh, actually, we need the uproot to get back up. That was weird. Oh shoot, we went way over time. Um, so. In the next episode, we are going to continue on our way up um, the Woody Kingdom and get up there to fight our next Brutal. So, in the next episode, we will do that. So, I will see you guys then.